Halation is a subtle glow or halo effect around bright objects or highlights. It's used to mimic the characteristics of traditional film cameras, where light would scatter and create this atmospheric type glow. This technique adds a sense of realism and cinematic quality to the video, resembling the look and feel of classic films. DaVinci Resolve includes a halation effect, but some users feel that it's not that great. Not only that, the halation effect is only available in the studio version. There are other ways to create a halation effect using basic tools inside of Resolve. So let's create a simple and free halation effect in one node. I've created this look using my Kodak 2383 power grade. I'm not going to go over how to create this look, just how to create the halation effect. You can make these same adjustments in any node where you want to add halation. If you are interested in this power grade, there's a link to it in the description of this video. If you would like to see a tutorial on this look, comment down below and let me know. So here we have the power grade and I have this halation node here. I'm going to turn it on and off so you can see the halation effect that we're getting. And this is the halation effect that we're going to create. So I'm going to reset this node. First, in a serial node, set the composite mode to screen. Next, go to the blur panel and increase the radius all the way. Now go to the gain wheel and push to a warm orange color. Now go to the custom curve, making sure that all the curves are linked together. Create an anchor in the middle of the curve and drag it down all the way and push to the right until you are only affecting the brightest parts of your image. And that's basically how to create this halation effect. This bottom anchor here will work as a threshold and it will determine when the effect starts to take place. This top anchor here will work as the intensity of this effect. You can also use the radius as a spread control. You can lower the radius to make the halation less soft and tighter around the edges of light sources. Work with these three controls to achieve the look that you like. If you're not sure what your halation should look like, you can search online for movie stills that have similar lighting conditions to your footage, bring those stills into Resolve, and try and match that halation as much as possible with these controls. Typically, with halation, less is more. But don't let that stop you from getting creative. You might discover something that looks really cool and it's something that you like for your own style. One more thing, when using this effect, you might encounter this issue where you're getting halation in areas that you don't like. For example, in this shot, we're getting some of this effect here in the close of our subject. To fix this, adjust the bottom anchor and the curve as much as possible to limit the effect to only the brightest parts of the shot, and then go into the gain wheel and lower the amount of color being added. The combination of these two adjustments should solve this issue. If after using this halation method, you've introduced a little bit of color into your white point and you want to clean that up, just use the highlight log wheel in any node after your halation node to clean up that white point. I'll do this in the look adjustment node of my Kodak power grid. I'll also go to the vector scope and make it show me my highlights so I can clearly see where my white point is at. If you keep the effects subtle, you won't color your white point as much. But if you do introduce a lot of halation, you'll see that this white point gets a little warm. If that's happening, you can just use the highlight wheel to bring this back closer to the center, and that will clean up your highlights. As always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials like these.